All right. How about we uh, we get into this? This is the Bronze Age mod. Damn, this is pretty. I I really quite like the look of the ocean when you zoom down this far, but then as soon as you get closer, oh, and it's blue again. Like I want it, I want it to be this all the time. It looks so good, but then this. But I want it to be this. But it's good there too. So um yeah, Egypt is added to the Bronze Age mod. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, we've obviously got Greece, Southern Anatolia, Cyprus is very much split up as well. So many new countries, and oh man, it looks very, very pretty. I don't know yet who I'm going to be playing as. So, yeah, Egypt has just been added. There's a lot of new content in Egypt. Um, having the Nile be navigable all the way down to here wherever this area is, I think is a really good change. I do quite like that it's all the way down here. Honestly, I'd probably put it all the way to the end of the map, personally, but, I mean, it's whatever. Um, the Cilician Gates have now got more than one tile between them, apart from this one, still only one. Mountain Valley Terrain, so there's new terrain types. There's a lot of colonizable land as well. Lots of city-states. If we have a look here, have we got a Minoan? There's Knossos, Astala Eleotherna, Phaistos, Dawa, Gortinia, Lambris. Oh, we kind of got to play as Lambris, don't we? It's, it's got my name on it. It's got my name on it. What have we got? Oh, Urban Kingdom. That's a new one. Two military, one civic, one religious. Oh, so we start with four. That's interesting. Um... We've got the Aegean religion, we've got Minoan culture, rural heritage. The tribesmen are less happy, who cares? Found city modifier, that might be useful in a Bronze Age mod. What the heck is that thumbnail? Yeah, baby, I mean, this. if this ends up being a YouTube series, then you can make a new thumbnail for me. Um, this is just a test. Um, Menelaean is in where Sparta is. Very interesting. I guess the Spartans haven't yet escaped from Crete, I think, was where they say they're from. Then, obviously, we've got Egypt, where Alexandria is, has not yet been uh, founded. So, yeah, no no big sexy city there. Uh, where have we got? Lots of nice little countries here. I really want to play this as a multiplayer game. Uh, but apparently it's very unstable, and then with Imperator being unstable anyway, that's not so great. Um, perhaps this would be a great um, multiplayer setup for when 1.4 comes out, if there's a lot of um, changes to 1.4. I do like this. The look of this is quite nice. The little island in the center of like the this thing, that's, that looks pretty cool. I do like that quite a bit. Also, having it all be connected rather than two or three separate areas, like it is in uh, in Base Imperator, is pretty cool. But man, there's so many new countries. So what have we got as uh, recommend? We got Wasset, which is down here in the south of Egypt. We've got Henan Nesut, and a little bit north of them, they're quite large. Thebes, Thebes could be good. I do like the idea of playing as Thebes. That is a very interesting flag. Uh, we've got Ugarit over on uh, the coast of Syria. We've got Rabat Amon, uh, a bit where Judea is. I assume there is... Uh, there's no religion map mode in this. I assume it's a Levantine cult? Religion? Interesting. Is there a Jewish culture? Do the Jews not exist in this time period? I don't know. I mean, we're in... The year 2900 BC, I don't know. Where are the Jews at this time? I don't know. There is no Jerusalem that I can tell, at least. Uh, then we've got Troy. Oh, now that's interesting. Playing as Troy. A Luwian culture, a Walusian urban kingdom. Pirate heritage is a bit shit, in fairness. Um, yeah, not, not a fan of the flag. Sorry, not a fan of the, uh, the pirate heritage. We've got Ledra in Cyprus. Uh, Knossos. 
I guess they are sort of the the heritage of the the Minoans, right? They got pirate heritage, which is strange because there is a Minoan heritage in base Imperator. Um, so it's strange they didn't use that. And then Walarima is also recommended over here in uh, Anatolia. They've got Montaigne heritage and also Skirmishers Discipline. That's interesting. Uh, new unit types as well. Very, very interesting. So who do we play as? I mean, I'm thinking maybe Thebes could be fun. Rural heritage is decent. Play as Boja. Yeah, n no, he's, he's not here. He's not here. Is there any new... Ooh, hello. Heritage of the River Plains. I do like Heritage of the River Plains. This is Hut Waret. That's tempting. I do like that Heritage of the River Plains. Seafaring. Lots of seafaring. Montaigne. Seafaring. Uh, we've got Athens. They've got seafaring as well. What about up where Pella is? Is Chimena. Interesting, no no big river where Pella is. I got coastal heritage, export value, oratory, investment cost. I do like those. That's quite nice. God, there's so many. It's so it's so many. Uh, imagine in India and in smaller places. No, no, I'm, I'm not going to imagine that. That sounds uh, insane. I saw some Egyptians with special heritages. Play something with a unique heritage. I, I would if I could find it. Heritage of the River Plains, River Plains. I do love River Plains. That's nice. Oh, breadbasket heritage. Pop cap, research points, slaves needed for surplus. Uh, could be interesting. What about where the the uh, temp uh, the things are? Old seat of power. Legitimacy from inhabitants goes down. Price of pyramid stage cost modifier. Uh, yeah, that that could be doable. Isn't that where like Memphis is, or is that a bit more south? I think it's a bit more south. That's Heritage of the River Plains, Tenth Dynasty. We've got monthly legitimacy, omen power, and monthly loyalty goes down. Interesting. River Plains, River Plains, River Plains, bread baskets. Uh, what else? Come on, give me something new. Stronghold Heritage. Fort Defense, Experience Decay, and Pop Promotion Speed goes down. Okie dokie. Bread Basket, the 11th Dynasty. Claim Fabrication Speed, Diplo Reputation, and Price of the Mortuary. Interesting. So, have we got like a 12th? Ooh. Anctifi Heritage. Food Modifier, Freeman Habitus, and Monthly Loyalty goes down. That could be interesting. This guy in this in the middle of the desert. Anktfi. Land of the bow. Citizen happiness goes down. Tribes when output goes up. Arch of discipline is decent. Land of the bow, land of the bow, land of the bow. Very cool stuff. Desert heritage. I think that's normal. Step heritage. Step heritage here? That's weird. Seafaring Highland, uh, Stronghold, Rural, Seafaring Rural, Highland. Come on, give me something cool. I want to see more more new stuff. Did I check every single one of these? Old Seat of Power? No, I've seen that. Bread Basket. I'm going to go with some kind of Bread Basket heritage. Because it's new. But which one? Could go with Tepu. Yeah, I think we could go for Tepu. That'd be quite interesting. There's this big, powerful block right next to us. They're all Kemetic Nomarchies. But what the fuck is a Nomarchy? It's a monarchy, one military, two civic, one religious ideas, plus 200% is that aggressive expansion? I don't even know. Now we do have the bread basket heritage. That does sound quite interesting as well. Oh, I'm so conflicted. What do I want to play? Hey, Viral Koenig, thank you very much for the lemons, good friend. Um, oh, heritage of the River Plains is something I really do love, though. Maybe... 
this breadbasket will play as Jadu. I do like the flag. Yeah, let's play as Jadu. Screw it. We're done. We've we've picked our nation. We're gonna be playing as Jadu. The first intermediate period, the land of Egypt has for several decades now been stricken by severe drought, causing starvation and chaos. The glorious old kingdom has collapsed, and the centralized rule of Egypt has gone with it. The old governors in their provinces, also called Nomarchs and Nomes, have become independent, but the 10th dynasty at Henan Nasut still claim continuity from the old dynasties of the old kingdom. The more ambitious nomarchs, not satisfied with just one nome, see their opportunity to found a new divine dynasty blessed by the gods uh, to restore order to the Nile Valley. So every territory in Egypt gets negative 75% food. Jesus, that's pain. That is horrifying. Doesn't look like we're getting it right now. Maybe on the monthly tick. So we start off with 1,800 men. Oh, interesting. So uh, unit sizes have been dropped to 300. That could be quite awkward to, you know, think about how many men that actually is. If I had, like, if there were 250, it'd be a lot easier, I think. Uh, the commander button has changed to a Bronze Age helmet. That's interesting. Uh, we can build skirmishers, which are good against our oh, X-Men there. That's something new as well. Um, chariots are still the same. Skirmishers are new. So instead of heavy infantry, we have axemen. And then I think skirmishers are... Let's have a look. There's no heavy, infant, uh, heavy cavalry. So skirmishers have replaced heavy cavalry. Fair enough. Any new trade? I mean, this is all bloody new as well. We've got holy sites already. Fair enough. Uh, we've got copper here. Cedar. Uh, we've got fruit. That's new. Natron. No idea what natron is. So many different uses, including the production of leather, detergent, soap, and also notably used in embalming of the dead. Fair enough. We've got reeds. Um, that's new. And then scrolling down a bit, we've got saffron, ivory, and silphium. Cool, sorry. So what does copper do? Uh, copper allows you to make axemen. Fair enough. A surplus in the capital is just straight up discipline. Uh, that's good. Oh, we've got tin as well. Uh, tin also gives you discipline. Wow, okay. Uh, cedar is great for ships, which apparently there's new ships as well. Exporting gives plus research points. That's nice. Hey, Harpwing. Hey, doing, man? Um, that seems normal. Horses are up there. That seems normal. Uh, if we have a look at fruit, that gives you monthly loyalty. That's good. Natron is lots to do with citizens. Fair enough. Reeds is build cost. Pop cap for surplus. That's, that's powerful. That's very, very powerful. Uh, then we've got papyrus. Is that anything different? Nope. Saffron gives slave output, monthly popularity gain. That's just a whole bunch of different bonuses. Uh, ivory, citizen happiness, civilization change. And then Silphium. It's a plant native to the region of Cyrenaica. Uh, gives civilization level, tech investment, and research points. Alright, cool. Oh god, all players map mode? Yeah, no. That's climate map mode. Unit evaluation map mode. Please select a unit. Okay, cool. Um, what else is new here? Macro builder build in province something? Don't know. Offer peace map mode. That could be useful. Trade map mode. We're not trading with anyone yet. Or are we? No, I don't think we are. Um, map editor clean map mode. Okay. Progress map mode. Alright. Diplomatic view. Naval range map mode. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's, that's cool. I like that a lot. So we can see where exactly we can go to. I might end up using that one quite a bit. Fair enough. And then all players map mode is just me. Uh, regular players map mode. Right. That's cool. I like that. That is very, very cool. We've got score that's gone down here. I like how the map 
still has a bunch of this here. Is that where the planned expansion is going to be? Possibly, quite possibly. All right, so what else we got new? Treasury, everything seems normal here. Uh, manpower, everything seems normal. We've got African traditions. Spearman, da da da. Okay, interesting stuff. Uh, Popcat, pop cap, that's going to be the first one I take. Invention cost, negative 15%. Fuck me, that's good. Pop growth, omen power, loyalty, weight modifier, maintenance. So this center line is so powerful. Slaves need for a surplus, negative 2 is really good. Plus 50% export value? Jesus. What? Army movement speed, that's good. Pop assimilation speed, plus 40%. Jesus. That's so overpowered. What have we got that's really powerful here, then? This looks like it's all about military. Oh, then again, we've got legitimacy instead. Food plus 5%. Permaculture happening. All of this is province import routes. Damn, I haven't seen that in a while. Um, at the moment, we've got three different types of ships. Raider, warship, and great ship. Okie dokie. Political influence. I think this is probably all going to be the same. Yeah, health, taxes, blah, blah, blah. Omen power, probably. Uh, we've got morale of armies, merc army. Yeah, this seems like the Greek one. Show government. Egyptian dynasties. Claimants Henan, Nesut, and Waset. Okay. Can we claim it? Maybe we can claim it eventually. Uh, showing laws. Okay, there's new stuff here. A lot of new laws. So we got succession. Oh, these are 50 each as well. Um, but no... It doesn't seem like there's any stability cost for any of them. We can already take warfare. Wrong culture happiness is already down, but simulation speed is good. Wrong culture happiness, but lower enslavement. Uh, enslavement efficiency plus three, but exp aggressive expansion goes up. Um, domestic laws, royal status. Okie dokie. Conversion. Uh, what do you need for that? Civic 9, okay. Then military, we got martial education right now, but we could go into noble admission. Yeah, that's normal. We've seen that one before. Very interesting stuff there. Uh, military experience, we've seen that. Religious decentralization points. Okay, so religion has changed quite a bit as well. Calling Omen is cash. Uh, what would you get for that then? Oh, hang on. Religious centralization. Measure between 0 and 100 represents how concentrated and focused religion is on the king and the state. High centralization represents the state, where the king takes a central role in religious ceremonies and the state apparatus and temples are one. Religion is shaped and sermons are given in order to justify the existence of the king uh, and state and the endless toils of their subjects. Low centralization represents the state where the king and temples have little power over religious affairs. Religion is exercised and shaped by the people in their homes and gatherings at sacred sites in nature. Religious authorities are spread over many independent holy sites, sanctuaries, and oracles. And religious centralization is increased by the amount of citizens in cities with temples relative to the total population and the amount of rulers interred in a royal tomb. It decreases by how many territories have a sacred site relative to our total amount of territories. All right, so religious centralization change is plus 0.31 because of our temples and decays as well. All right, fair enough. So we've got religious traditions as well, or that we can spend with decentralization and centralization points. Build temples cost negative 10%, that's interesting. Uh, tax, research points plus 25%, fuck me. It's powerful. Then on this side, Freeman Happiness, Food, Commerce, Research Points plus 10%. Assimilation Speed plus 25%. Jesus. Establishes, no, sorry, enables the establishing of one of our oracles in territories with an established sanctuary. Top five religious prestige. Your religion is its dominant faith and can only be done once. This one allows you to deify the ruler. Wow, okay, that's all new then. Stability, yeah, that's fine. Aggressive expansion brings open the diplomat mode. Uh, nothing new, looks like there. Um, 
Work exhaustion and legitimacy. Okay, so let's have a look. Technology, is that the same? That all seems identical to what we've got already. Fair enough. Uh, let's have a look. Religion, we've seen. Economy, we've seen. Diplomacy, we've seen. Decisions. Disable migratory alerts. And then found new dynasty is here. We need 20 territories and we can found a new dynasty. 100% we're doing that. Uh, trade overview. Yeah, we've not trading anything yet. Characters. What is our f great families called? We've got Dwarne Horus, Wadj, Satets, and the Menhits. Horus, Satet, and Menhit. Nice. Lovely stuff. Uh, and missions. The matter of the Western Nile Delta. Sure. Let's try that. Very nice. Available decisions. We'll close that. Free idea slots. Okay, so we've got four ideas. Oh, and a lot of them are unlocked from the very beginning. How very interesting. So we've got two civic, one military, one religious. So for a one military one, I would prefer to take the uh, discipline, but can't just yet. Manpower, reinforcements. Well, let's take siege ability. I do like me some siege ability. Build cost could be good. Pop cap is awesome. Slave output, citizen output. Let's get some slave output. Let's get some... Oh, pop cap is really, really good. I make fuck all from commerce, obviously. I'm not really trading just yet. Let's go with some pop cap. And then for religious... Let's go with pop conversion speed. Probably not necessary. Because religiously, we're all fucking identical. Um, let's go with some primary culture happiness then. We've got comedic culture all over the place. So yeah, that's going to help a lot. Primary culture happiness. There we go. Lovely. Done. Trading. So let's have a look. We are this blue guy. We don't want to trade with anyone next to me. We've already got earthenware. Uh, we've got furs. We've got grain. We've got papyrus or cloth or something. So that'd be good. We can get more earthenware. We can get some grain. We can get some livestock. But that's it. Uh, let's get some livestock for the pop promotion speed. From Throne of Horus Nome. Okie dokie. I guess the uh, the provinces have changed as well, the names. Throne of Horus and Nome, Forgotten Nome, West Nome. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. So what are we? We're the Anjeti Nome. All right. Well, if we are trading with you, I would very much like an alliance with you as well. So I don't... I, I'll take you out last. Um, so we've got some, some trade there, some grain we can get from... This guy or this guy. Mm, what about earthenware we can get from plumed falcon sub... Yeah, that, that seems fine. Uh, and then all we can get now is grain. So we'll get grain from... It depends where, where, where I want to conquer. Do I want to go this way? Or do I want to go this way? Let's get it from you. You've got two spare grain, you've got two spare grain, so I can get one from each of you, I think. Alright, so we're going to ally with this guy as well. Uh, inventions, we've got 50 ducats for inventions, let's get some taxes. What is our pop breakdown right now? Mostly freemen, there's 13 tribesmen, that's a lot of freemen actually. Uh, so let's grab some... I don't know about omen power, because omens I don't understand yet. Maybe I shouldn't have spent all my money and I could have um, called an omen. But there's nowhere that tells me what the omen would do. Oh, there we go. That's that's where you can call the oracle. Um, we own our religion's most prestigeful territory. It, I don't know if prestigeful is actually a thing, but whatever. Uh, I think it'll be prestigious. And then religious tradition, divine king uh, acquired more than 80 religious centralization. 
and we can be declared a living god. Okay, that's fair enough. We are prestige rank two. Oh, that's our prestige there. Okay, cool. Very cool indeed. Very, very cool. I think my plan's going to be to conquer north and take out this, but we'll see. Uh, so inventions, uh, let's grab some food, and that's all our money. Probably should have actually made my army a bit bigger. Uh, we'll grab... You're good for... Oh, <laughs> You're really good for the navy, but you're my only good general. So I'm going to go with you. And my navy can be controlled by... Fucking anyone. This is me. He's not very good at military shit. Alright. Let's check it onto speed 4 and unpause. As the game crashes on me. Nope, seems we're good. Why are you moving already? Uh, you've got no alliances. We can't declare war, of course, until February. We start in January, which is interesting. This place absolutely needs a fort. Oh, speaking of, I've got new buildings. Found city, found metropolis, revoke city, decree relocation. Let's have a look at a city for that. Oh, this is new. Oh, we can build ports. What? Or maybe we can just expand ports that are already existing. Um, decree relocation. Oh, you can only do it in places that aren't capitals. But gets lots of unrest. Pop cap goes down. Pop capacity goes down by 100%. Demotion speed goes up. Migration speed goes up. Citizens are very unhappy. All right, so you can basically tell people to fuck off. And then we can stop decree relocation as well. Okay. So, ports. This gives ship recruit speed, import routes, commerce value. We can upgrade it for 100 ducats. Giving pretty decent bonuses. An extra... No, port 1 is that. Port 2 is just an extra 10% on ship recruit speed and commerce value. Um, it takes a year's time. And citizens are unhappy when that happens. Uh, buildings seem... Seems like there's less of them. Go to the academy. P Ooh, where? Yeah, there's just new stuff. Marketplace, fortress, training camp, granary, local industry, collection office. There's slave desired ratio. Peacekeepers, poor promotion speed, province loyalty unrest. That's actually kind of interesting. Estates are available holdings and slave output, slave desired ratio. And then pop cap and citizen desired ratio for sewage systems. And then scribe schools is research points, pop promotion speed, and local citizen desired ratio. So scribe schools are probably going to be like the new library. Uh, omens are no longer precisely pickable, so you get a random one when you call for one. Okay, that's interesting. Slaves needed for local surplus, negative one. Okay, that's, that is insanely powerful. That is insanely powerful. And then what are the new ones here? Fortress is fine. Farming settlement seems normal. Apart from local Freeman desired ratio, that goes up. I like that a lot. Tribal settlement seems normal. Apart from desired ratio goes up. That's not in the base game. Provincial legation seems fairly normal. And then plantations. Popka goes up. Slaves need a surplus. That's normal. Food going down is interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Sounding out the opposition. Uh, we want to go with... Uh, who's Pthkeka? Who is Pthkeka? P-T-H Pthkeka. Oh, that's you. We're not allied with you, are we? No. But we are trading with you, which is a bit pain in the ass. Fuck you anyway. It'd be actually quite annoying to get over there. Because we've got the crossing and the uh, they've got a fort. Uh, Hut to my south would like an alliance. No, I would rather murder you, to be honest. Oh, but you're, you're allied with my ally. That's annoying. We're making okay-ish money, I guess. New models as well. I don't think I've seen these models in the base game. Uh, I might be wrong, though. They might be. Uh, you would like some of my grain, would you? Well, manpower is nice, so I'll take it. Um, 
have we got? Mm, I don't see the the change to food that we were told about. Matter of the Western Nile Delta, we want to go for a warlike kind of uh, stance because obviously we want to conquer a bunch of shit. Yeah, so we allied on, on the eastern side of us, conquering on the, the western. Uh, let's build some skirmishers. Damage versus axemen. Depends, do, do my allies, or sorry, do my neighbors have copper? Uh, where can I find copper? Interesting that grain isn't actually written there. Uh, where can I find copper? Uh, lots of, oh, there we go, copper. Lots of copper over there. Uh, Alright, so no one around here has copper until you get down into the south. Okay, so skirmisher is probably not what I would desire then. The skirmishers are good against axemen, but pretty weak against everything else. Archers seem to be good against horse archers and skirmishers. Um, Alright, then spearmen are good against chariots, horse archers, light cavalry, good. Weak against axemen. I think just pushing a bunch of spearmen out. Oh, we'll get one supply train, and then we're going to start building spearmen as well. Not sure really how much my economy can uh, can sustain of this, but, you know, we'll give it a go. But I want to be quite powerful. That would be nice. Also, I need to... That is very expensive. 781 and my... Oh, ooh, hang on. You want to go to war? All right, so it's... We make 781 income... And our religious calling omen is 7746. So it looks like, you know, 10 months worth of income before expenditure is uh, the problem. So Setenu wants to go to war. Uh, they also want to get me to break my alliance, I assume, with Sembadedet. Yeah. I'm going to decline that offer. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with this guy and we're going to invade you if possible. Uh, you do have a fort here, which is annoying, but we can cross over here. It'd be nice if I made some money and just fortified all my crossing points. Cute event. I gain intelligent. Which gives me some more civic. Sorry, finesse. And statesmanship. That's pretty cool. Sembadet wants to go to war with Setenu. I accept. This guy tried to give me a, a an ultimatum. Fuck you. Basically. It'd be nice if we got a new ally, though. If we're allied with you, maybe we also ally one of your allies. Wait. You want to go. You told me you wanted to break my alliance with Setenu, but you're allied with Setenu. What the shit is this? I fear Shenanigri is afoot. I want to go to war with you. Now I bring in those guys. Maybe I'll ally... No, you don't like me. You don't like me. I'll ally you. I could ally the... Uh, the, the big fucker in my south. I might do that. I don't know. You're at my diplomatic range. So are you. Okay, so my diplo range is not amazing. I'll just get as many alliances as we can really afford. And continue to build spearmen. Uh, let's get one more archer and another spearman. And then we get one more spearman again. That might be good enough to start a war. I don't know. We can declare war. We don't actually have anything yet. We're still consulting the court. Uh, De Jedu owns three more cities in the area of Angedeti Nomen. So I need three cities here. I'm thinking this one and this one should probably be cities. Floodplain. That's new, isn't it? 
Also, we haven't even seen this, expanding shrines. So we've got a holy site giving us religious prestige. Uh, we can convert the temple to a sacred shrine. Temple is removed, it no longer gets research points, civilization level, conversion and assimilation speed. But it could get plus 0.3 research points, 20% conversion, freeman happiness, tribes and happiness, prestige points. Is that good or not? I mean, I do like all of the bonuses I get for the temple, but the shrine... But the shrine was all about the decentralization. Uh, uh, low centralization, holy sites, sanctuaries, and oracles, I guess not. Uh, it decreases by how many territories have a sacred site. That's not a sacred shrine site, though, isn't it? It's a sacred shrine, which I assume is probably the same thing. We've got new ones here as well. Acquisition of wealth, hash treatment. Uh, this seems normal. Nothing seems to be changed here. Pop assimilation plus 90%. So this seems quite high. I don't know. Is that the same? I can't really remember. I'm not really sure. Then we've also got paying for a ceremony. 100 ducats for citizen happiness and plus 30% religious prestige. Okie dokes. Making 362 now. I mean, we still make a fair chunk of ducats. And you just lost some men for no reason. Great. Good job. Good job there, buddy. Let's get another couple of spearmen. One more, I guess. Until I can afford another. The court speaks. Uh, it demands that we go to war, naturally. Another spearman. Oh, we were already at war. Uh, Chebnutcher declared war on Sembadet. Okay, so who are we at war with? Fucker to the north. You know what? I can totally help you out with that. Your army is low morale, mine is not. Oh yeah, let's go kill that 270 dudes. Good job, me. It's a shame I couldn't catch this fucker. Alright, I'm just gonna siege the capital. Surely I- oh, hang on. Who else are we at war with now? This guy, okay. Bond of childhood, don't care, cool. Uh, you want some- f whatever that was? Sure, that's okay. But yeah, I'm going to siege this. I've got a supply train, so I'm not worried for food. Our navy, I guess I can bring it out to help. If you can go and siege this, we can stop him from crossing over. Granary fire, that's six ducats. I'll, I'll pay for it for now. Ugh. Oh wait, I'm, I'm winning this for some reason. How am I winning this? Honey falls ill? That's sadness. How am I winning this? I've already sank two ships. Come on. Win. We're flanking him. We're flanking him 2v1. 2v1. Come on. Come on, you bitch. We lost none. They lost two. They had a level nine. How did we... How do we even come close to winning that? That's crazy. Seriously, we've only got the one port. Ugh. That's painful. But sieging Tebjanutjer is pretty cool. I would love to catch this guy. So let's force march onto him. 600 men will get them murdered real good and quick. Maybe he had low uh, morale on his navy and that's why we managed to beat him so convincingly. We're just going to go around and raid a bunch of pops now, then, I think. Oh, the war's over. Great. Oh, that's a shame. Um, and he's still got a bunch of allies. It was a peace deal for three years. That means it's a white peace. Fucking yay. Okay, I've got a call for, uh, call to arms from Yamu. Uh, they want to go to war with Piemro. Sure, why the fuck not? Not sure how much I'm going to be able to do. 
But okay. Oh, wait, Zhao is involved in this war. Yeah, th this guy is not involved, and that's kind of the annoying thing. You're allied with whom? You're allied with this guy I'm at war with already. You're allied with this guy who, I believe, is my ally right now. So this is the perfect opportunity for me to go to war with Kasut. We're going to go to war with Kasut. While this war is going on. I can get a new invention. Uh, import value, perhaps? I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it for now. Save my money. It does seem like I've got a rather large army. Uh, where is the ledger? Is, is the ledger a thing anymore? Where would, I, where would one find... Oh, there it is. Open the ledger. For current cohorts, Jadu, me, biggest army in the world. Fucking awesome. We, that's just us. We are awesome. Sambadet is in another war. Oh, against my neighbor here. Oh, f f fine. Oh, we're against Hutwaret as well. Oh, man, that's sucking real big saggy bollocks. No, I'm thinking of the other one. I'm thinking of this guy down here, Hessen Nasut. Don't want to be at war with Hessen Nasut. Uh, we can replace our trade with nothing because no one has trade goods. Oh, are you retreating all the way here? Oh, you are. Goodbye, sir. Good fucking bye. Fantastic. All right, well, how about we just siege your capital then? Hopefully we get given this land. That would be nice. Looks like we have naval supremacy as well. If that is the case, I'll just sit here. Uh, two freemen, or do I want money? Uh, I'll take the freemen. He's building a new army. Fuck you. It's not gonna work, son. Uh, did my navy just get murdered? It did. Oh, they had more ships than us by a long way. And he's dead, my admiral. But I do still have three ships. So that's good. Oh, I, I definitely don't want me to be in command. I'll leave it for now. Come on, take the city. If I take the city, the war is basically over. We can take this, you can take this, it's all... Gr ooh, ugh, ooh, ooh, wow, we absolutely crushed you over there. Fantastic. How is this mod compared to the base game? I've only just started playing the mod. There's a lot of very interesting stuff there. Uh, the Yellow Nation took one territory. Oh, yeah, so they did. My ally seems to be really bloody good. He's just kicked the ass out of two uh, separate armies. All right, if I take this, hopefully he's going to let me uh, own this land. Uh, oh, I don't like any of these options. I don't gain any corruption here. I get some popularity. I gain a bunch of ducats. I like that option. How about we try an omen? Call an omen. What do we get? We get aggressive expansion change. Blessing of eloquence. Okay. I do like the randomness of it. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, new steward. Let's go with Usurmontu Wajifni Satet. Nailed that. Uh, still no trade goods. Uh, don't really want an invention right now. Come on, win the siege, you shit. Come on, you shit. Oh, he's got an army here. I mean, it's a small army, but it's an army. How long is the siege taking? Come on. Ooh, forage capacity. Uh, forage capacity represents the amount of food available in the local territory for armies to forage, either through pillaging of the countryside or harvesting natural resources by, for example, hunting. As territories become devastated by warfare, the territory produces a lot less food until the forage capacity once more caps out. Be careful for any subsequent starvation can cause migration groups to form. That is cool. All right, we won that. Let's go siege as much shit as we can now. Come on, give me it. I've got claims on it. You know I've got claims on it. Twisting the knife. I don't want you to be my rival. 
Come on, I'm going to get this guy fully occupied. So just give me what I want, which is all of his land. Come on. He's going to be fully occupied in a moment. There we go. Peace him out. I can't peace him out. Can I peace out here? Sort of, but no. Alright, we'll march up and we'll take some more land for you then. Wait, are we at war? How, we're at war with everybody and we're kicking the crap out of them. Me and my ally are fucking owning. Dominating. Let's go. I can't get here. Whatever, I'm going to go and siege all this shit then. He's got an army here that's retreating. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, the opportunity has arisen. We can release the funds. 50 ducats for a bunch of bonuses. Uh, no. All right, I want to go down here and kick this army while it's got low morale. Better than doing it while he's got high morale, after all. And he's retreating just one tile to the north, so we'll go and stack wipe. 3,000 dead. Good. Alright, so you've pieced this guy out. Now it's time to piece this guy out and give me his land. Yeah, he did it! Fucking yes. Alright, so we've got 34 aggressive expansion. That's a significant chunk of ex uh, aggressive expansion. We gained one city, which should be the capital of this region. Apparently this is in an entirely new region as well. Go to regions map mode. It is. It's in the uh, eastern Nile Delta. Okay. Well, let's get home. Uh, this needs a new governor. We'll go with Seshi Winnie Happy. Um, I meant your ally. Um, yeah, my ally is fucking huge now. This is a fucking power block. Um, the wars do keep ending only one territory piece deals. Not this one. This one certainly did not. War proposal shot down. I definitely did not propose a war, but okay. Uh, got alliance breaking with Yamu. Who's Yamu? I don't care for shit about Yamu. Fuck him. Uh, any trades we can do? Ooh, we can get some fish, furs, earthenware, reeds. I want those reeds. Give me them sexy ass reeds. There we go. Great stuff. Uh, so I don't care about that. Pretend to spot who cares. Inventions are. Yeah, my tech is just wank. But I can't afford a fort. Down here is definitely going to be a fort. It's too bloody important otherwise. Fantastic placement for it. This one is also going to be a fort. I can't afford it, though. Forts are 87 ducats. Jesus, shit. That's a lot. Yamu broke their alliance, and we're no longer importing earthenware. All right, well, instead, then, I will get myself... Some fish. There we go. And I got some pop growth and food modifier. Lovely. So in my capital, we can build two more, uh, three, three more buildings. I can also delete the buildings I've got, which probably will end up doing. I'm not sure yet. And then in our new city, we've got three marketplaces, a fort, and a granary. Income is actually kind of the same. Uh, this place is very, very loyal. It's making food. I still want to go to war with you. You bring in Piemro and Zhao. If I could get my ally involved, which he totally would be, that might be a decent conquest. Uh, but with 31 aggressive expansion, I think I would prefer to wait a little bit. Let's grab some more raiders. Make my navy good. Is the map smaller? Uh, technically, yes, but also, also technically, no. So... The map obviously goes from Greece to southern Egypt, doesn't go any further than that, but the amount of territories in the map is fucking insane. 
uh, roads, for example, 20 individual territories. Um, it, it's kind of insane, the, the, the granularity of it. Um, so yes, but also no. Uh, we've got a bunch of political influence as well, so how about we provincially procurate my capital? We've got how many territories now? 22, so we could proclaim our dynasty. Uh, where did we do that again? That was a some, some place, wasn't it? Found a new dynasty. Nekin loses opinion, Jedu. Uh, so I hate the people who already have a dynasty. I adopts the Egyptian dynasty government form. One mill idea, one civic, two religious. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, I mean, I want to do it eventually. But I quite like the, the idea sets that we've got right now. I think I'll leave it for right now. I do want to change a law, though. Because I've got... 50 political influence. At the moment we've got no in intervention for servitude, so slaves are a bit unhappy. If we go state enforcement, slave happiness goes down even more, but I do get more output. Resource extraction, slaves need for surplus, slaves don't like it. Uh, move slave cost goes down as well. Sponsored liberation, freeman happiness goes up, slave desired ratio goes down, monthly loyalty goes down. So, um, maybe I go with resource extraction. Yeah, that doesn't affect my stability, thankfully. You would like some grain? Sure, ally of mine. My my friend. Oh, you've got a prisoner, have you? How much would you ask, accept for him? 20 ducats for this fella. Hanbach Nephthys. Nine Marshal, ten Charisma. You know what? I'm actually going to get him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to spend the 20 ducats, and I'm going to get my dude. Oh, that's 30 ducats. 20 ducats. There we go. I'm going to get my dude back, and he's going to be a citizen, and he's going to be the commander of my navy. Axman Discipline. Mmm... He's really good. He's really, really good at being um, a martial guy. Let's put him in charge of the Navy. That's good. I like it. Downloading the mod right now. A very cool start scenario. It looks so cool when zoomed out. Yeah, I think the, the water is fucking phenomenal, but then you zoom in and it's like, oh, now it's just water. <laughs> what I am missing is a lot of the really lovely quality of life um, changes that you make at a gamma day like i just want to move this pause button just move it down here uh two citizens i'll take them um can expand the shrines i don't want to expand shrines i want to build like a yeah i guess you, you have a holy site as well so we've got two holy sites right now which is good i guess do I want to make one of them a shrine? I don't know. Yeah, I guess you have to be a city. Requires no ad adjacent ones. Okay, let's try here. Uh, it's 50 ducats and 100 political influence. We can just make a shrine. I don't know which ones I want, though. I really don't. My army could do with expansion again. Let's grab ourselves a couple more spearmen and a couple more archers. And my navy is going to expand as well. More raiders. Uh, you want grain from me? Sure, buddy. The Cypress have tin. Let's have a quick wee cheeky look. It's got a lot of copper. Um, does it have tin? Is tin a thing? Let's have a, a look. Oh, there is tin. Tin is a thing. Uh, where can we find tin? It's wine. I don't see tin. If we can find tin, we can obviously highlight it. Tin, where are you, tin?
it's hard to really find it because I don't know the color of it, so I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. It's very difficult to find anything like this. <laughs> Uh, fine stones is apparently a thing. I didn't even notice that. Oh, it's basically marble. Okay. Where do you find yourself some tin? Uh, why did you make me look for this? I don't know. If I go to my capital again. No tin here? No. If I go here, I've got an import route. Tin. I, I don't even know who has it, honestly. But I do have import routes, which I should make use of when I've got the money. I don't know, I don't know where tin is. And I don't think it's really worth looking around all that much for it. But just click around. Maybe I'll find some. There is no tin in... Uh, in Cyprus, though, no. It's randomly clicking until I find some tin. <laughs> There's no bloody tin. I don't know where the tin is. Yeah, no, I don't know, mate. Sorry. No idea. Alright, my fort's almost complete. That's good. I'll uh, use the macro builder. That's a good idea. Where's tin? I think it'll only help if there's actually anyone with tin. Right? Yeah. No idea. There's probably a shit ton of copper in Cyprus. There is. Um, plus five religious advances progress with no penalties. Hell yeah. Point is invade Cyprus. Uh, look, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Has it been discovered yet? Cyprus? Yeah, it's up here, mate. It's right there. It's 5,100 men. That is more than anyone else in the world, I assume. Yeah. No, Hen and Nasut, the bastards. More men than me. I want some import value, actually. More money is is good. Commerce is actually a pretty sizable amount of my uh, income. Uh, we'll import some cloth. Ooh, I might actually prefer that in my capital. What are we importing here right now? Reeds, fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, nah, fuck it. We'll just take, take the cloth here, then. Oh, for myself? No, I'm not going to import for myself. We want ex external trades, right? That's that's what we do. There we go. And, and that's it, because we ran out of money. Some more research points in just this place. That's fine. You can click on tin in the macro build. I did. I did click on it. But because it's, there's no one that has it out in my range. Or is this it right here? Aha! No, you're right. You're totally right. There's just... Very little tin, so I completely missed it. Also, it doesn't help that tin is the same color as no fucking trade good whatsoever. So, yeah, this is tin. We've highlighted tin. It's, it's fucking everywhere. Every single province in the world has tin, clearly. That's... Uh, it's the same problem that salt has in the base game. Yeah, there's, there's some tin up here. In, uh... Argius. My god. <laughs> yeah, that's that's annoying. Uh, do we want to do some celebrations? Uh, yes, yes we do. Actually, what stance are we on as well? We're on neutral stance. I wouldn't mind changing that, actually. We'll go with some mercantile stance. Yeah, it's very difficult to see when the, when the colors are so weird. Uh, is there anything I want here? Omen power, actually. Yeah, sure. And now I'll save my money. Apart from I want more ships. Give me one more. There we go. Fleet of 12. What's the biggest fleet in the world now, then? 26 for Henan Nasut. 
and Waset, then Neken. These three are the ones with the dynasty, the Egyptian dynasty, which we haven't got yet, but we will eventually. Once I figure myself as, as comfortable in the north, then we will be the northern dynasty. So we have very few ports. Take a port here. I wouldn't mind taking this, like, I guess it's an island. 500 manpower, sure. I think it is about time we invaded. We have claims on it, after all. I need three more cities here as well. Uh, how much is a city? Uh, oh, it's manpower and money. Very interesting. It is quite a lot of money, though. Uh, the salt visibility issue is actually fixed in this and the prior update, I believe. I didn't realize the tin had a similar problem. Uh, salt, I think I've seen some salt around somewhere. Uh, yeah, macro builder again, let's have a look. Salt is right there. Oh yeah, salt is much, much, much more visible. But yeah, tin, tin is still an issue. I can give Svanli a fix for that as well as the next one. Alright, cool. Isn't, wasn't Cyprus rich in tin? No idea. Honestly, couldn't tell you. Uh, you've got a truce with these guys. Okay, so how long is your truce for? Uh, your truce lasts until 796 November. I can wait until then. Let's, uh, let's just drill on their border and scare them a bit. Oh, no, no animation? Oh, that's unfortunate. There's a huge stack of mercenaries here. I wonder, how much is it per month to hire this many mercs? You need to have two times the disband cost of 65. Okay, so I can't get them anyway. But, as soon as I get 100, I can check what that is. Two more comedic citizens. Sure thing. Sounds good. The Tin Age. Well, yeah, I mean, I know from RuneScape that um, bronze is merely, you know, one tin, two copper, or perhaps one copper, two tin, I can't remember which. Um, I, I know that, but, I mean, I don't know. 102 ducats for an omen. I feel like that's going to get ridiculously expensive. Sure. We got national population growth plus 0.21%. It's actually fairly decent, so I'm not too worried about it. That's good. That's that's fairly good. The statue of Huni e Dwarni Horus. Uh, oh yeah, sure. And I have a new daughter. How old is my son, actually? She's 13. She's 13. And I've got another daughter. Wow, all I've got are daughters. Uh, okay, then. Get a holding. There we go. Uh, I need... How much do I need to, like, purchase one of these? Cost increase with each new tradition in the tree bought. With a base cost of 100... And 25 more for each tradition bought. Okay, so I need 100. We're getting there. Centralization is going up higher than... Sorry, faster than decentralization. Uh, bronze is an alloy after all. Very true. Um, I feel like UI looks more neat with the dark theme, but lacking in contrast. I felt that as well. Maybe the yellow isn't the best color to be on this. Thank you for the follow, Salius. All right. We can totally attack you. Oh, hang on. What do you want? Oh, you want me to go to war with Charu and Pur Amen? Hang on. Let me check. Who is that? These fuckers? Oh, wow. That's actually quite a decent chunk of uh, enemies. You know what? I will help as long as you help me afterwards. Me and you were in this together. Also, lots of slaves. Can't be denied that slaves are cool. Also, fuck your fleet. Slow down speed 4 while we're at war. It's always a pretty decent idea. We're going to go grab ourselves a bunch of slavery peoples. Uh, become friends with you or he loses loyalty. Fine, we'll become friends. That's fine. That's cool. Ooh, my friend's about to get attacked. Oh, wait, no, you're per bast. I don't actually care about you. This is my friend here. You're not my friend. So what we're going to do is just uh, be incredibly selfish and uh, siege a bunch. 
Uh, 18 ducats for 6 stability. Sounds like a good trade to me. Uh, another 3 stability or 35 ducats. So I'm going to take the stability again. Oh, look at all these slaves I'm taking. Uh, I mean, you died, but it's close enough. All right, we're going to go siege this then. So what I do like is this forage capacity. That is a really cool mechanic. So you're not just using your supply trains, it seems. It's quite cool. I don't think there's anything else new here. And now that forage capacity is down, I think I am now starting to use my food capacity. At least that's what I think is happening. I might be wrong. Yeah, we should be here. Release of funds, 80 ducats for lots of effects. Nah, I don't think so. Could get a new invention. I mean, ship damage taken, now that I've got a bunch of ships, maybe that would be a good idea. But also, buildings. Some more infrastructure. I could imp increase my port. A ship recruit speed and commerce value in my capital does sound like a pretty decent idea. But also, so does a scribe school. Or two. Get a couple of scribe schools. I looked through the full map and found a grand total of two tin territories. Okay, wow. So is Afghanistan and Cyprus going to the place where the bronze comes from? Well, I mean, Afghanistan's not in the map, so I guess not. Yeah, having only two tin? Tins look, looks like a really bloody good trade good. Uh, let's get some more stability. Gotta love me some stability. Peculating official, we will... Get him to forfeit his position. We need a new Master of the Guard. Let's go with you. I think you're probably the same guy. Uh, apparently we can... Oh, take a religious tradition. Of course. Research points and pop conversion speed. Absolutely. That's just objectively a fucking awesome thing. Let's just quickly take you and go back here so you stop being sieged. Uh, let us... Blah, blah. Split you in half, I guess. Half you go there, half you go here. Well, that was being sieged anyway. Okay. Well, this guy is now fully occupied. Uh, it's per atom. He's, he's a secondary participant. He's probably not going to give it to me. He's probably outside of my range. Um, but I'm also not going to allow him to go to... You know, strengthen my future enemy per bast. You know? It's not not really something I'm comfortable with. Oh yeah, you should also be here so I can help out the siege. Uh, we now have a sun, finally. Finally we have a sun. You can make bronze anywhere as long as you got the copper and the tin. Most today, Spain and England were even in olden times big exporters of tin. Not on this map, though. Uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that uh, where the tin came from. Uh, right, we've sieged another place. We are just a phenomenal ally. Can I just make that clear? We're we're just the best ally of all time. And look, we're even going to go and charge into the floodplain. Actually, does that give a combat bonus negative thing? I don't know. Or we could allow you to attack me. Level 9 versus level 9. This is actually going to be much more painful, and I actually kind of wish that I didn't do this now. Oh, we could take this. But not this one. I don't know why, though. Maybe my range is going up here and then back down instead of going down here and up. That's possible. Uh, I actually don't want to fight this. Can I run away? Yeah, I can run away. Why waste my manpower, after all? Uh, tell you what, my boats... Let's go here. Oh, you want you want to go onto the fort, do you? Oh, that's, that's interesting. Me too. 
Ah, oh, you. Mm. Wait, what? You you gave him one territory, and then this is. You're really big now. I didn't get anything from that war. Ah, oh, I was about to stack wipe him as well. Ah, oh, filth. Fair enough. Uh, Katsura, you're Katsuran, aren't you? Thought I knew that. Do you know anything about the historical situation? Like, who are we? Uh, we we are the Jadu. Um, basically, the the first kingdom or the 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 old kingdom of the the Egyptians has collapsed into many rival kingdoms. There are some uh, claimants to you know be the true Egyptians, uh, like this guy Henan Nasut. That's why he has the tenth dynasty um, heritage. Uh, then we've also got Waret, which I think is actually... Sorry, Waset is here. They are the 11th dynasty. They also claim the throne. Uh, so th there's that situation. Um, apparently there's going to be a flood uh, and we can build build some pyramids and stuff. Cats, cats around, etc. I don't know why I didn't clock that. Wait, what? My ally is now attacking the guy that I wanted to attack. You absolute scumbag. Also, you got more men than me. Uh, I can't be allowing that. I want the most men. Four, five, six more of them, and we'll get a couple more archers and another supply train. You scumbag. We, I, I helped you, and you were going to help me against this guy, and now you're at war with this guy anyway. You're at war with Yamu, with Kasut coming in. Why are you at war with Yamu? How are you at war with Yamu? It's the Sembadet Yamuian War. Personally, I find this to be complete bullshit. Uh, lose. I uh, can afford to lose that. Uh, how about this territory? Ooh, what's this? Small palace. Oh, I do like that. How much does that cost? I want to build that. Can I expand the palace? Alright, I need 350 gold for that. Why do I not have a palace in my own territory? Uh, because I need 200 gold, but I have that. Why can't I expand my palace? Let me expand my palace, or build a palace. Is there anything here for palace? No. How do I, exp how do I make a palace? I, I, I want to know how you build a palace. I don't know how to build a palace. God, man. My friend is an asshole. He's going to take all this land now. That was supposed to be our land. I'll lose that money. You require the palatial law. Okay, well, let's have a look for that. Um, palatial laws... All right, so it's one inside here then. Palatial, palatial. Royal status, is that it? No, maybe, no. Oh, there it is. We are pre-palatial. Uh, we need 10 citizens in the capital, greater than equal to eight territories. Okay, so we just need more citizens here. At the moment, we have a total of nine in the capital. Did that not say we needed eight? Or it must have been ten. Oh yeah, I need one more citizen, and we can do it. Let's just call an omen for now. We got plus five point four discipline. That's actually really powerful. But my ally seems to be a little bit more of a liability now. He's he's expanding above me, which is rather irritating. You're allied with my ally. I wouldn't mind killing you without my ally getting involved. This guy has got that one and that one on his side. If I attack you, it's that guy and that guy would not be too bad. He'd also call in... Uh, no, maybe not. If I attack you... That wouldn't be too terrible either. Wait, you're allied with me. Didn't even realize. If I attack you, you call in that one, that one. I don't even have a claim. 
Oh, my ally has rightfully fucked me now. Theft? What an asshole. Yeah, this guy's gonna completely annex here. As soon as he takes this, he could just annex him right now. He's also got more ships than me. I don't like it. I, I've been helping this guy too much. Far too much. We need to call him to war on our terms after he's finished this one. Two more citizens? Yes. Two more citizens means I can now pass the law. Wait, is it in the wrong place? Yeah, the citizens went here. Shit. I want the citizens here. Uh, we are getting a citizen? No, Freeman, 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 Freeman. We got growth of tribesmen. If this was my capital, it would work out just fine. Also, can I just say the amount of pops migrating here is kind of insane. Far more than they're going... Oh, actually, here's my capital here. Oh, yeah, my capital's getting a bunch of dudes as well. Makes sense. Yeah, we know you can see just siege this and just do it so that I can finally call you to war arms. Why are you retreating back over here? What's wrong with you? I mean, the war is against this guy. Oh, there we go. He's dead. What a knob. All right, you're not at war anymore. You are, just with Yamu. Would you still come to war if I called you? Yes, you would. All right, let's fucking do it then. You've honored your military obligations, good boy. We're going to pop the ships here so they can't just cross over. Got uh, another supply train here. If we force march, can we get here first? No. Oh, wow, they're just pissing men over. Uh, we killed a lot of them, though. We need to stop force marching, and yeah, you stopped crossing. Good boy. All right, we're going to go up here. Oh, Yami was still at war with him. Right, I want this uh, occupation. This is a bloody important fort. Uh, more discipline? I'll definitely be taking that. Yeah, if we can take this fort, that's super important. But I am going to be the one growing massively now. Aggressive expansion can go kill itself. Who cares? Yeah, what a what a really important fort though. Come on. No, no, no. Don't be doing this to me. All right, slow it down so I can see the battle. At least we've got hold the line over his shock action. I think we just won. You want to become the court philosopher? No, go away. We did. We just crushed the shit out of them. Their level 11 general is imprisoned. Fantastic. Oh, you want to be called to arms against Megara? Where the bloody hell are they? You're so aggressive. Who the, who the hell are Mag Megara? Megara. Why do you want to go to war with him? Fought over take the land of turquoise? What, you have this port and you're like, oh yeah, you know, I want this now. I mean, fine, but I'm not going to help you. You're supposed to be helping me. You're so aggressive. Heritage to the River Plains. I mean, surely there should be something saying, you know what, this guy is the most aggressive AI I've ever seen. It's interesting having to fight on a smaller scale. Yeah, I agree. That's why I love Imperator Rome uh, as well. Just everything is a much smaller scale, like the granularity of the provinces. And then this just goes, you know what, it's not enough. We'll, we'll just have even more granularity. So, you know, I really, really like that, naturally. All right, I think you are a secondary participant, so I'm just going to go ahead and occupy everything you own, and uh, then we're going to get rid of you. Oh, you're going to siege that, are you? Well, let's split you in half, then. Half you can go there, half you can go there. We'll take this. That's you fully occupied. This is now mine. I'm also going to take this. That's a lot of aggressive expansion, but everyone is my own culture and religion, so who cares? Right. Let's 
going to do it back together. I don't want you to siege this. Although you might pass this to me because it is the war goal. Let's go for this one. And my navy, I'm thinking... Oh, you've run away. Of course you've run away. You're going to go and de-siege from Yamu. Makes sense. Excellent land management, naturally. Um, until the end of the game, you get plus 10% food modifier. That's just objectively the best option there, I think. Hover over its personality in the Diplo view. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Uh, where do you see that? That's not from there, it's here, isn't it? Where I actually never looked for the personality. Is it somewhere around here? I have no idea. Oh, is it up here, is it? Aggressiveness, 245. Um, that seems quite high. Let's have a look for this guy. This guy is 80. This guy is 8. Okay, yeah. This guy's aggressiveness at 245 does sort of make sense now. Also, we've got new traditions. I think I want to go down the center. I did think that was the most powerful. We'll wait until after the war, though. It's probably a good idea. Uh, new trade good. Oh, I think I'm... Low food supply in Western Harpoon. Is that here? No, it's here. Yeah, you can import some grain from me. Just get a bit more grain so you stop starving. Doesn't help that we got this guy here, but we'll probably be able to win this siege race. Yes, we did. Fucking beautiful. Let's go murder you. You're practically evil. A lot of men, but we think... Yeah, there we go. Lovely victory. Alright, let's go and siege another fort. Religious tr Oh, we can take in the religious tradition here. Freeman happiness or food modifier. I'm going to go with a food modifier. Still don't want any inventions. I'm happy as it is. Um, Wasik got his butt kicked. Yeah, it did. Very interesting. I haven't seen that either before. Still, You're still the war leader, but who cares? We're going to take all of this. I'm just going to take as much as I possibly can. There is uh, Ur Arat. So as soon as I siege this and... Please don't let this be another fort. It's not good. Don't you dare siege this. Give me this land. Thank you. Good boy. So now you're going to get pieced out. Thank you very much. It's another 37 aggressive expansion. That's alright. That means we're going to get no aggressive expansion for taking this land. Because that means we've got negative 156 aggressive expansion impact. Just going to go and siege all of this. Look, if my ally is going to be super aggressive and grow massive, i got to do the same. It's just what we got to do. Uh, you I actually would prefer to be at peace with. I don't want your land. Not yet, at least. Siege this, and then we'll siege this one. Food is still great. Maybe I do want this. I, I do, but I don't at the same time. Depends on how much aggressive expansion it's going to be. Wow, that fucking fell real fast. That fell incredibly quickly. I love it. Oh, my ally getting wrecked. Also, not really going to care about that. You know what? My ally getting wrecked is probably what he deserves. I know he's my ally and all that, but you know what? He's still a bit of a dick. A bit too aggressive for my liking. Oh, you've got more men than me. But we have the fort. If we can go and siege these places. Uh, looks like we're going to have a battle. Uh, can I retreat to here? No. 
Looks like there's going to be a battle then. I'm going to stick with hold the line. It served me well in the past. Let's hope it serves me one final time. Important to note, proclaiming yourself a new dynasty currently gives you claims on all of Egypt. Well, shit. Uh, might be doing that then. Uh, we got plus eight. He got plus five. Oh, that's interesting. There's no... Com uh, there's no clash of tactics. Also, that plus six modifier at the start is just beautiful. We're kicking seven shades of shade out of them. Get wrecked. Our army is superior to yours for now and for all time. Got some deaths. My ruler needs to marry another person. Uh, I'm really bad at the finesse, so let's try and get someone with good finesse. Yeah, you'll do. Splendid. Uh, military tradition, we don't need that yet. Uh, I still want some more trade. Get some more fish. Yes. Freeman happiness. Uh, I need some more grain. So I can get the uh, the bonus again. There we go. So as soon as this is occupied, we can piece this guy out. And depending on how much aggressive expansion it's going to be, it should be zero, right? Well, I can't take it because it needs to be coastal. I mean... I've got a port here. You've got a port here. Surely that's good enough. I guess maybe it isn't. Right, well, we'll go siege here then. I uh, just have the fucker flogged. That's fine. You've got a port here, so we'll go and blockade you. Hey, I'm currently featured on the DLive homepage. That's awesome. Thank you, DLive. Playing in Cyprus, I really like how there are three different national traditions just in Cyprus. Currently playing as Bambula. Let's go and have a quick sneaky wee peek at Bambula, if they exist still. Yeah, they do. They've got a pirate heritage. Oh, you're talking about traditions. So, Levantine traditions for you. What else we got here? They're all Levantine. Are you, are you, are you sure you're talking about traditions? Or are you talking about something else? I only see uh, Levantine. All right, we're going to win the siege race. Come on. I know we can. Yes, we did. All right, let's go and murder you real good and quick. Get off there. Just just go away. And you too. Now, wherever they run to, we have to follow. Which is probably going to be up here. And it was. And then we follow them again. And that's half of the army dead. And there's the other half. Beautiful. There should be a 100% war score now. It's not because... Who the fuck else are we at war with? That should be 100%. I've got everything occupied. Do you have something of ours occupied? Oh, no. There we go. 100%. So if I take everything... 32 aggressive expansion. That would put us to 100. That's... That that's pushing it really, isn't it? Oh, no marquee is giving me plus two hundred percent. No marquee is giving me plus two hundred percent. Mum, our nation overview. Right now, it's diplomat mode. We are a no marquee. But now, we are not a no marquee. We are no longer a no marquee. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Fuck aggressive expansion. That's incredible. That is incredible. <laughs> oh. Still only got nine citizens in the capital. Come on. I want more. I don't want to, yeah. Palace, we need to we need to get more citizens. Alright, so military tradition. We're gonna take Pop Cap because Pop Cap is beautiful. Uh New Omen. Let's call it. It's going to cost me uh, 111. So, oh, we can also 
we have an available oracle, we could consult her. All right, let's consult the oracle. After consulting the oracle, a prophecy was told. If a war is made, a kingdom will fade. Well, yeah, my enemy's kingdom, naturally. A glorious victory is assured, or it sounds like it cut both ways. Uh, a glorious victory is always assured, naturally. There's arm for war. I know I got a claim as well on Tesheru. I mean, it doesn't matter because I got claims on fucking... Oh my god. I got claims on everything. Fair enough. Uh, I could call another... Oh, you can just, like, spam-click the omens. That's... Eh. If you've got the money, why not? Alright, so this time I'm going to go with some more siege ability. Siege ability is just too bloody good. I'm going to go with... Oh, slave output is really tempting. So is citizen output. But pop cap is pop cap. And then for our religious omen, we're going to go with primary culture happiness. And we're going to go with some... Civ level. Right, you here need a new governor. That can be your job. A is just a number. Yeah, and that number was one. Uh, I'm guessing your uh, large ally also expanded so fast by founding a dynasty. Uh, hang on, dynasties, I remember. There we go. Uh, yep, he has founded a dynasty. So I guess he doesn't like that I have founded a dynasty as well. Oh, he hates me. Oh, the Dishonored Alliance? Why is that there? Oh, we're no longer allied. Well, shit. <laughs> I guess it's time to build up my army a bit more. Uh, let's get four more spearmen, and then and then four more spearmen, uh, and then uh, f no, I don't want skirmishers. Skirmishers are shit. I mean, they're not shit, but I don't have axemen, so they're shit. Uh, four more archers. Looks like we're gonna have a big old bash against Sembadet. Rising from obscurity. Call philosopher, governor of the Eastern Nile Delta, or the general of the second. I think the general of the second has not lost a single battle in this entire game so far. So, Haramakaket, Rashepsis, Renanehutetet, nailed it, is, is going to be a prominent family. Congratulations, you deserve it. Uh, invention, is everyone built yet? No, they're not, so starting experience. Also going to take some supply limit. Beautiful. My army is strong. Uh, it's also expensive. Let's have you dock up. Yeah, that's a bit more money than I can really afford, isn't it? How many men have you got? you got 22 cohorts. I've got 38. Trade. Let's see. What do I want? I want grain for the manpower. Yeah, let's get it from Ayuni. Let's get some... Oh, fucking no money. No money, no money, no money. Um, fleet maintenance goes down. Fort maintenance goes down. Research? Fuck research. There we go. Commerce? Uh, no, I can't touch that really. Can't really touch that either. I could lower the expenditure on my army, but I really can't afford to do that. I will accept both of these trades, though. That should put us in the positive. It does, but only barely. Uh, I imagine that's to simulate that the Egyptians weren't good at holding lands outside of Egypt. The way pronounce those comedic names is hilarious. What do you mean hilarious? I, I, I nailed it. I told you. I nailed it. What are you talking about? Lies and deceits. Oh, great. And now my ruler is brain damaged. Durr. Well, that sucked. Also, yeah, I should probably stop drilling my army. That should probably help my expenditure, right? Yeah, it fucking does. Of course it does. Uh, let's get... I mean, I'm already... Just taxes are good. And did I just have... Oh, no. My uh, my ruler just died. Ruler just died. Now I've got... Uh, Mereri... Mereri... Dwarni Horus. He's going to be called Horus. Lupercal, naturally. 
Alright, so manpower is looking okay. In a year, groups of tribesmen will enter our lands on a voyage to a new homeland, which will alleviate some of the pressure in their home province. Huh. A province of South S Southern Shield Nome. Or we could say no. The group won't enter our lands, but keeping the pressure valve shut might cause the tension in the province to increase to an explosion. I'm going to take the subjects. Sure. Three extra spearmen. Also sure. Send your king in a hippo hunt. My king's dead. He's 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 just gone. He's dead. He's gone. Let's get three more spearmen. Three more spearmen is only nine hundred more men, but you know, every little helps. Right. Who has the truce here? Me or you? That's not the button. Actually, how much do you want for him? Nineteen ducats for this guy. Okay. Who is this guy? Last time. Hang on. What's his name again? His name is Hornact Sitau Hect. Hornow Sitak Tect. Something like that. Uh, Hornow Sitau Hect. Right, you got eight Marshall. You know what? I quite like you. I quite like you. Let's ransom you. If you're only going to be 19 ducats. Oh, wait, now you don't want to accept 19 ducats? Oh, come on, dude. You were going to accept it just a moment ago. Oh, fuck off. Oh yeah, you hate me now. Well, I guess, I guess we're... Look, this guy, I have no idea who he is, but he's clearly incredibly valuable to me. So we got to go save him, right? You have to go save him. Let's go save him. Purbass will join you. Oh, come on, ally. Come on. Who do we want to ally? Apparently, nobody. We're going to be completely alone in this war. Will you at least give me military access? You won't. If I go here, that's a fort. There's no way I can cross over to kill this guy without crossing onto the fort, which is incredibly dangerous. So maybe if I stay here and we'll take out this first. Yeah, have some reeds. Let's go save our friend. Uh, take calf and cow nome. I'm thinking more mountain bull nome. Mountain bull nome. There we go. Yeah. Why won't you join? Military access. Well, that's a fucking truth, isn't it? Because you don't have military access. Fucking hell. I should have given this guy this land. Ah, whatever. Mountain bull nome. Oh, and there goes all my trade as well. We're going to go and siege you. Right. New trades in the capital, please. We can get some fruit for province commerce. Sure. We'll get some Natron for citizen happiness. And we can get even more Natron. There we go. Beautiful. And then you can get some trade. You can have some cloth from there. And you, you can have some earthenware from there. And probably we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, shit. Gave too much of this away. Whatever. So were your forts down? Were they were they lowered? They were, so your garrison's actually quite low. Um Yeah, that's that's fine. You can have a beautiful temple. Beautiful temples are always nice. So we see their army. It's about ten thousand men. Much, much smaller than my army. Oh, uh, and by much, much, I mean not not that much. N not not that much. But this guy has not won a, a lost. Sorry, he's not lost a single battle in his entire life. Even though he's technically an oarsman. We both chose the same tactic. No one's flanking each other. It's relatively even. Oh, there we go. Look at those rolls. Yes. Fuck off. Get sent packing, you piece of shit. And Kasut has now been sieged. Let's march on. Get to the capital now. If we can get to the capital before, you know, he stops running away. Unless he's going to run away somewhere different. 
which does seem like he's doing. But if we can siege this, that's going to be really good. We got 31 ships. I do not want to fuck around with that. New Civic Advances guy, you. I don't care. Minor Addendum, 6 Stability. Always going to take that. This guy broke his alliance with me. I might, instead of uh, just annexing him, I might just get him to spit out all of the countries that he has uh, sieged so far. That would be a lot funnier, I think. You want some of that? Sure. Two more citizens. Is that in my capital this time? Yes, we've got ten. <gasps> we can do a law. We can do a law. We can do a law. I would like early palaces. Yee. Yeah. Which means I can build a palace when I have the money. Which will hopefully be after this war. Oh, where are you going? Well, wherever you're going, we're going to follow. It's probably going to be here, I imagine. Or here. Yeah, sure, you can have some green. Oh, you're going too far. Can I catch you with this? No. Damn it! Stop moving! Stop! Stop moving so much! Damn it! All right, we're just gonna go siege here then. Screw you! Happily, Perbast, after I sent him packing, has not decided to come back again, which is quite nice, naturally. Uh, you're out of food, but you're gaining food, so I'm not too worried about it. Is there any new character interactions? Not quite yet, I guess. Uh, also got some more civil centralization points. We're pretty close to being able to get another one. I'm going to take the money this time so that I can build myself a palace. Damn right. Oh, it just it's just there. It's not, it doesn't go over time. That's kind of a shame, actually. But nice if it had a, you know, a time to build. Right, but now we've taken this, we can get over to here without crossing any straits, which is just beautiful. Hey, Elaziki, thank you for the follow, my dude. Uh, we can import some more stuff. Let us get some more grain, apparently. There we go. We're only trading with ourselves. I did hear that this was a, a little bit of a problem with the mod, that um, trade is quite difficult because of the how broken up the world is. How much food have we got left? Oh, we're almost out of food. It's alright though, we can take this, we can smash this, as long as we win the siege race, which we're probably not going to do. Come on. Sure, our defenses, that's good. Come on, there we go, okay, so we won the siege race. We did run out of food now though. If we race here, we might make it. We did make it. Haha, you fucking dead son. Get out of here. Oh, you're locked crossing a strait into me? With a weaker general? And a weaker army? And a weaker constitution? Let's see how that works out for you. Mm, damn, didn't work out. That is a shame. That is a shame. Alright, uh, this guy, can I piece you out? Yes, I can. I could take your land. For zero aggressive expansion, naturally we're taking your land. I wasn't gonna, but zero aggressive expansion, you can't really deny that that's worth it. And if you're retreating up this way, how about I follow you? Hello, bye-bye. And we captured your army as well. Just beautiful. I'm hoping for a trade overhaul on Paradox's part eventually. Well... When I did my interview with Arheo uh, back at ParadoxCon, I asked him one thing, like, what would you want to change? And he did say that... Um, he did say that trade was an area that he was looking at to for a, a Cicero-style overhaul. Ooh, siege ability. That does look tasty. I'll take it. And I need a new governor here. Um, we're going to go with the Rasheps' Renentut. Uh, even though he's not the best. Just uh, 
just to cure the scorned family issue we currently have. All right, so that's another siege one. Um, I guess we just go around and siege a bunch of places now. Ooh, 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 stay there, stay there, stay there. Oh, God damn it, I hate doing that. Clicking too early. Oh, look at all these slaves! Ha ha ha! Lovely. Ravaging the north of Egypt. Oh, there's a, uh, a city here. Didn't even realize. Let's make it burn. Or not, apparently. What was my war goal? Um, apparently we don't have one. Okay. Untiring Devotion, 3 Stability, I'll take that. Trade away whatever that was. Probably fine. So I think I'm going to leave him with this. Actually, no, I want, I want to take this. I'm going to push him across the Nile completely. He is not welcome on this side of the Nile. Selling some Papyrus is nice. Uh, we've now got Mentegra, which is never nice. There's a scandal. We'll just have the fucker flogged. Hey, I can get married. Uh, I've got trash pretty much everything. Let's see, who's decent at things? Nobody. Nobody's decent at things. Let's just marry you instead, then. Ooh, that was a lot of people. A lot of pops. Right, let's go siege this one. And I think then we're going to peace out. We're going to take all of this land and we're going to push him across the Nile. And then he's basically, he's basically done. Like, you don't break your alliance with me and get away with it, is what I'm saying. We were a very good ally. And you backstabbed me. I think. I think you backstabbed me. Uh, invention cost negative fifteen percent. Yes, that's incredibly powerful. Uh, we could call an omen as well. Oh, we can also get grand temples, or we can get Freeman output. Build temples cost negative ten percent, and pop promotion speed plus thirty percent is really good. I'm going to take that. Uh, let's call an omen. Why not? Oh, hello there, national tax. Now that I do find very tasty. That's an extra three ducats a month. Beautiful. Uh, Siege of Hut Waret is one. Right, so my friend, my former friend, get out of Egypt. You won't accept? You will accept. You will accept in time. Oh, fuck it, it's an honor. Don't care about your statue. Let's go capture him. He's the general of the third. He's not that very good. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Go away. Stop crossing over. Where are you going? Look at him. He's, he's recruiting men. Why are you recruiting men? Go away. Stop doing this. Stop it. Stop it. We're going to have to force you to stop doing what you're doing. I told you to stop. You didn't stop. Now you're dead. That's basically how it goes. Now we're in 94 war score. Now he will accept. Oh, really? This... That... That's... That's a... A province. Why? Could this not have been in this province? What the hell? I don't have to go siege it now. I don't want... I don't want that. I don't want the rest of this. So we'll go siege this, we'll siege this, and then I think we'll peace out. Because I don't want the rest of this territory. I just want it. Yeah, just that. Just that's good. For two aggressive expansion, we're now a major power. Fantastic. De Jedu. Yeah, we've got call for peace as well. Makes sense. 
So we can expand a shrine. Sure, let's have a shrine here. This should also have a fort, let's be fair. Uh, oh yeah, missions. We've done a, f a couple of missions. Uh, that's cool. We'll do that. Making gains. Cool. Um, we need to settle Anjeti Nomi. Uh, I don't think we've got the money now, have we? This is Anjeti Nomi right here. Uh, found city is 150 ducats. Honestly, we're pretty close to that now, actually. There we go. Just get that earthenware back as well. Right, you can go and sit in the capital. Ship of the state? Uh, no. There we go. Right, you want to be a city. Lambert is a mob boss? Possibly. Who's to say that I'm not? So Western Nome is running out of food because all I've got is a city here. So basically that means you need to die and that would also bring in you and you you clearly need to die as well. Uh, but other than you, this here is also... Yeah, okay. So that's that's the next conquest, Yamu and Chebnutger. Let's actually split this army in half. Half of it can get the level 9 Jehuch Yemyat Wad Jitefni Satet. Nailed it. Actually, yeah, you can have him. Uh, and you can go to here. I'm going to go and uh, murder you. And then this army, and the six and a half K, can go here. You can start murdering this guy. Bloody beautiful. Uh, you can have one of them, because they're good. As soon as you arrive, we're going to declare the war. Right, if we attack you... Oh, you bring in Sembadet as well. Uh, we'll let the Sembadet be for now. He's licking his wounds still. But we do want uh, to siege Ammonia. We don't. We don't. I don't actually want Ammonia. I just want Western Nome. Look, all the Nomes belong to me. That's just the way it is. Daloon, daloon, daloon. Things will never be the same. Uh, yeah, you can have some grain. Basically, I'm doing this to stop my people starving. Also, could you please stop doing this? This is unacceptable. Uh, let's raise my fleet maintenance. I can't afford it now, after all. And you do have a fleet that I do need to crush. Oh, you're coming to attack me, are you? Let's see how that works out for you. Uh, well, what of it? Naturally... Haram Kehet Rehepshez Renen Tuet won his battle because he has not lost a single battle in his entire life. Minor addendum, six stability, I'll take it. There's the first siege. And now Navy needs a commander. We'll go with you. Apparently you're scorned. You have naval movement speed. I'm going to go with you instead. Go murder that thing. Right, we killed their ships. They actually captured one of my ships, though. We lost a siege. Oh, you dick. I'm really bad at winning siege races. We're defeated on the... What? How are we defeated on the, no on the ocean? I feel like this is complete bullshit. Oh, we're being... We're being... Can countered there. But we still won, because we're awesome. So that's good, at least. Can I just win this, please? Win this siege as well. There we go. See, won the siege of Art. And we won the siege of Rutanu. Very nice. You go win the siege back. You go kill this army. And you are... Ooh, yes. And we got, uh, got a new city as well. This is actually quite dangerous. But I feel confident in victory because it is... Haram Maquette, Rehepshez Renentuet. And despite all the odds, we crush. Right. We attacked you, uh, so as soon as you've been fully occupied, we should be able to piece you out. But it also means we have to stop you from occupying our land as well. 
Only 200 men there. I'm thinking an assault might work. Maybe. No, it'd be too painful. Too early for assaults. Let's just siege all this. Surprised that despite the amount of battles this guy's had, he's not had any events to make him better. Uh, yeah, we can't piece you up because you've got this sieged, which is annoying. But this has now been desieged, and we can bring this army over, merge our armies together, and then Renenhuet Hakimatet can go and crush again. Because that's basically what he does. Tell you what, you need to force march. Up here. This is looking quite dangerous, actually. Oh. Oh, we may have fucked up here. We were still kicking the ass of them. We need some reinforcements. Else Harry Maquette is going to lose his first battle. Scandalous Dominus. Uh, token Inquiry should be sufficient. Hold the line. Hold! 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 Yes! We have still not lost a single battle. Well, I mean, he hasn't. We killed 4,000 of the fools. You can stop force marching now. You can stay here. We still haven't lost a single battle with that general. What an absolute legend. Alright. De-occupy all of this land and we'll be able to piece out this guy. My armies can probably merge together now. You, peace out. I want this. Uh, it's too aggressive expansion. Oh no. Make that 1.5 aggressive expansion. Oh no. Merge you to get it. No, no. It's Harmaket that needs to take command, or maybe we'll put you where you wanted to be all along, which is leading a navy. Yeah. He's done his job. That last battle really took it out of him. So he's gonna he's gonna retire to uh, to his ships where he feels more comfortable. Yeah, you can have a sewage system. And I guess uh what else do I want to give you? Slaves needed for local surplus. That seems nice, actually. Sure. Right. Let's go follow this guy up here. Right. To celebrate your victory, we're going to grant you another um, 10 ships. Congratulations. Is there any new formables? Can I form like Egypt? Declare Egypt unified. Oh, I need to go all the way down there. Yeah. And here? Is that is that something I need? No, apparently not. Egyptian oasis. Hmm, yeah, probably not gonna be taking that. My fleet is probably stronger now, especially with this guy in charge. So we're gonna get the fleet to go and Blockade. It is not stronger. It is not stronger at all. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with Harassment. Alright, you chose Naval Envelopment. So I don't think either of us are getting tactic advantages here. Your flanking is what? What is the flanking on these ships? Maneuver three. So your flanking is three. You're now in range. Uh, I'm now going to retreat to Yamu. I said I'm going to retreat to Yamu. We lost no ships. I feel like we did more damage to them, but I, I don't know for sure. I hope so. No, you don't get to run away. You don't get to run away. Apparently you do. Now you don't get to run away. Right. 
That's what you get for almost winning. All right, so we're going to siege that. Wait until our ships are ready. Um, axe on discipline. Ship. Let's get take some ship damage taken. So we're, we're not going to be uh, at risk of losing fights on the oceans. Also, this was the first battle he's ever lost. Which, like, in fairness, what the fuck. Let's go and uh, get our revenge, shall we? Sweet, sweet revenge. You lost one ship. Not good enough. Let's make him lose more. Where's he going to retreat to? Probably coming back to go into the port. If I was to guess. Yeah, I, I guessed correctly. Hopefully we can take him out of the port and we can crush his face. Come on. Win it. Win the siege. Win the siege. Come on, buddy. Uh, there's 118 ducats. I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that at all. Come on. You want to trade with me? No. That's how it all started last time. A trade deal went wrong. We turned it into an alliance. Uh, captured this guy. He was terrible, but whatever. Uh, we lost one ship. They lost one ship, but we also captured one ship, so we didn't actually lose any ships. And you're retreating here. We've killed 13 ships. Fantastic. Phenomenal. Right, let's peace out with you. Let's take that. Do I need this to form Egypt? No. So I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to leave it. You can keep it. And I'm going to build a fort. Oh, what's this? There's a fishery here. Well, damn. Did not know that fisheries were a thing. But it needs to be a fort, so sorry. Right, you can have some grain. Sure. Right. So. Looking good. It's looking pretty good. Let's have a look around the world, see what's been occurring. So, in Greece region, we've got some kind of, you know, mergers going on. Uh, Megara now own uh, Athens. Athens is no more. Clytor is doing well here, so is Namuta. Garamusa. Cythera. Sin sorry, Kinthera. Um, but no real huge blobs. I mean, Claytor is like the biggest one here. Um, Sitagroi. Sitag yeah, Sitagroi. And the Dardanos, that's pretty big as well, I guess. Uh, looking at Crete, the Armenoi seem to be the one in the ascendancy. Uh, the Lucens in Rhodes. Seems to be working out pretty well for them. Same as the Sun is. Mitawitters. Alright. Mitawitters is too fun of a name to not do a let's play of. And actually the uh, Amradrills as well. They're doing really, really well. Um, Arpas and the Nahita. Oh, hello. There's a big blob of the Ebla. But they're currently being murdered by a lot of things. So good, good for them. Irkatas, Kadesh. Hebrons. There's some, some blobs forming, but I, I think I'm definitely the strongest nation in the world right now. Uh, we can actually check that by looking at the ledger. Who has the most pops? Me, by almost double. Most cities? Me, by not actually that many. Um, Hennesut is in a, a third place. Distant third place. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing really well. We could look at the score to find out who the strongest is. As if score means anything. It's me, naturally, but like they've got B-Rot in the next second place. And I mean, let's be fair. It's 20 territories. It's 182 pops. I mean, is is that is that in, in impressive? I don't know. Gotta do a Petra run too. Where's Petra? Where are they? They got a nice flag. Yeah, it's decent enough. They got Stronghold Heritage, Levantine Traditions. Not bad. Migratory Chiefdom. That's new. It's not a migratory tribe, it's a migratory chiefdom. You better watch out for B-Rot or they invade you. Ah, it's fine. I don't like Beetroot anyway. 
Uh, almost got enough religious decentralization points to get another tech and do that thing. I mean, that's so powerful. The bonuses you get from it is crazy powerful. We can consult the Oracle. Oh, we'll be gloriously crowned in all our faith's envy. Fuck yeah, we will. People from all over have gathered to witness the spectacle of the grand crowning. It's hard for the foreign rulers and emissaries to hide their intense envy in their polite smiles. Screw you guys. Gain legitimacy, gain political influence, and gain popularity. Done. We are the pharaoh. We are, I, I guess, like a really good pharaoh. Oh, hang on. This is us here. Our dynastic prestige is going up because of my dynasty's age. We need to build some funerary complexes. I'm not sure really how we do those. We need to murder these guys so they're no longer claimants and we are the only one. Is there any laws we can pass that would help with this? I mean, familial marriage is always going to be something that helps with the whole, you know, Egyptian godhood thingamabob. Um, slave non-interference edict is what I usually go with for the commerce income. Uh, we could go for King's Justice. I like that. I like that, that you can only pass this not because you've just got, um, you know, reached a new tech level, but because of things you've actually done on the map, like, you know, build a palace. Now that you've built a palace, you can enact King's Justice. I like that a lot. I like that a hell of a lot. That's really cool. It gives me unrest and loyalty, whereas this gives me fuck all. So yeah, we'll pass that law. Uh, warfare, we've got pop assimilation speed. Considering all of the pops that we're occupying and killing are of our culture, I don't feel like this is really necessary. Um, I think probably Great Overlord would probably be the best there. Actually, all of them, not, none of them really speak out to me. Um, king of Kings. Naturally, we are the King of Kings. Uh, but let's see if there's anything else I want instead. Discipline. I do like that. Discipline. Yeah, let's get some noble nobility admission law. Let's get that non-interference edict. Yeah. Uh, authority. Here, I need civic advances. Blair. Law code, I need oratory advances, blah. Oratory advances, blah. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I can do. I mean, king of kings, might as well. There we go. Lovely stuff. How long have we been streaming for now, then? No idea. Not a clue. But we're doing pretty well on our uh, on all of our goals right now. Right, so shall we continue? Clearly, this guy's got to be next. Uh, if we attack him, he brings in all of this, annex, march south. Basically, what I need to do is kill you, uh, kill a you. Uh, who else declared themselves to be the pharaoh? Because I mean, clearly they're wrong. Uh, Waset, still a pharaoh. Nekin? Where is Nekin? Nekin needs to die. Where is Nekin? Oh, you're all the way down south. Well, shit. Well, it's time to get my army. I mean, I don't really have that much manpower, to be honest. Um, there's you as well. I think I've still got a truce with you, do I? No, we don't. But you would bring in that guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy. Yeah, I feel like that's probably doable. But I do want my manpower to grow a little bit first. Warships. Uh, what do I need for a warship? I assume it's probably wood. Can we, can we import wood anywhere? Cedar, yeah, we need to import cedar. 
No cedar in Egypt, apparently. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Also, it's pretty cool that I'm like on the, the front page of DLive again. That's awesome. That is pretty damn cool. All right, new migratory group has formed. A new migratory group was formed in a province in Calf and Cow name. Uh, surely intending to be up to no good. And then we've got... They're in Mountain Bull Nome, province and prince of the South Nome. New subjects are always welcome. I mean, sure. So you went to Prince and Bull Nome. So what have we got? Just more my tribes in... Oh, wow! Fuck me! Did I have 1,700 pops before? How many have I got now? It's still 1,700. But the amount of tribesmen, it feels like there's way, way, way more. That's kind of crazy. That's a lot of people. All right. So the funerary complexes are built through missions. Let's just finish that mission and that mission, and that mission. Uh, we want to settle another territory here, another city. Uh, let's go with this one. Oh, we don't have the money. We don't have the manpower, actually, or the money. Hmm. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break here. I definitely want to continue playing this. Uh, Bronze Age Egypt. But, uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. This is a fucking phenomenal mod. This is really, really well done. I'm definitely going to be playing some more of it. So, uh, thank you, Slothams, for, uh, for creating it. Um, or being a part of the team to create it. I'm not really sure which. Uh, so, thank you very much for that. Um, it's a lot of fun. Definitely recommend it. Um, it's on the Steam Workshop forums. Uh, yeah, the workshop. You find it just by searching for Bronze Age. And it should be the second one, unless you speak Russian. Be the second one to come up. And uh, yeah, rate it, favorite it, subscribe to it, play it. It's pretty damn good. Thank you all very much for watching for now. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.